This video introduces the NVIOT standard and how to model it with LTE Toolbox. Narrowband Internet of Things, or NVIOT, was introduced by 3GPP in LTE Release 13 and updated in Release 14. The goal was to create cheaper devices compatible with LTE with extended range and long battery life. A number of features were introduced to support those goals. Reduced peak rate, half duplex operation, single receive and transmit antenna, reduced bandwidth of 180 kHz, reduced maximum transmit power, simplify phi with no turbo decoding, no QAM and shorter block sizes, extended sleep time, and heavy repetition for extended range. NVIOT can be deployed either in standalone mode or within an LTE band or in the guard band between two LTE bands. If we look at the time structure of an NVIOT signal, we recognize the usual LTE frame of 10 milliseconds, which is comprised of 10 subframes of 1 millisecond each. But contrarily to LTE, each subframe carries only one of the following channels or signals. Broadcast channel, primary or secondary synchronization sequence, control channel, or shared channel. The broadcast channel is sent every subframe 0, the primary synchronization sequence every subframe 5, and the secondary synchronization sequence every other subframe 9. All other subframes may be available for control and data. Let's look at the characteristics of the downlink channel. Transmission always occupies 12 tones separated by 15 kHz. Data is transmitted with repetition factor up to 2048, QPSK modulation, and OFDM. Repetition in NBIoT is key to enabling extended range. Each block spans one transmission time interval and corresponds to one or several subframes. Each subframe is repeated four times in turn until the number of repetitions has been reached. On the uplink, transmission can use a single tone with 3.75 or 15 kHz spacing, or multi-tone with 15 kHz spacing. Data is transmitted with repetition factor up to 128 using BPSK or QPSK modulation and SCFDMA modulation. LTE Toolbox lets you easily generate and work with NB-IoT signals for both downlink and uplink. Here we declare a basic NBIOT setup. We can then visualize the corresponding resource grid. Then generate the waveform and visualize it. You can see the different physical and transport channels generated on the downlink, as well as the corresponding time signal. You can generate different scenarios. Here's the grid for standalone deployment again. Let's change the deployment mode to in-band and the number of repetitions from 4 to 8. Here's the new grid with PDSCH repeated 8 times and the signal avoiding the control region at the beginning of each subframe in the inbound case. In the uplink direction, here are parameters to define the scenario, the subcarrier spacing, the type of data the PUSCH is carrying, and the number of tones used, 1, 3, 6, or 12. And here's the generated grid for this single tone NPUSCH scenario. As a summary, LTA Toolbox supports standalone, in band, and guard band deployments, most physical and transport channels, all transport block sizes and repetition patterns, and a receiver for block error rate analysis on EWGN for both downlink and uplink. LTA Toolbox includes several examples of waveform generation and end to end simulation. To learn more about MathWorks and BIoT solutions, visit our LTE webpage at www.mathworks.com/lte.
you can also visit the wireless communications homepage listed on this slide.